According to legend, little folk know Hills is where the toys are. Hills has toy layaway. Just 10% down, a small service charge, and regular budget payments. Aisle after aisle, hundreds of toys. For fun and for learning, for girls and for boys. Low prices, selection, and toy layaway. More good reasons why they stay. Hills is where the toys are. Welcome everyone, Alex here at York Galleria Mall again. This time for Christmas 2022. I know I cover the small kind of a lot, but it's my childhood mall and every time I come here it just gets a little sadder. For instance, now they've shut down the one escalator, that's a bad sign. A shutdown escalator belongs on the dead mall bingo card. The downward escalator on the other side of it was working though. So if you're unfamiliar with this mall, um, it opened up in 1989 and it's York's last mall. It's been going downhill for the past few years or so. I was here in mid-November with my friend because we used to hang out at this mall back in the day. We went here a few times back in 2014 and 2015 before I moved out of York, and this mall is not quite the same as it was then. We stopped in here in uh, Go Games and Toys because they have one here too. I filmed Go Games and Toys in Capital City Mall, which you can see in Episode 9. This place is a great place to go for calendars, but I already have mine which I showed in my previous episode at BAM. A lot of the calendars here are nice, however, they also sell these ones. Why? So back out in the corridor here, it's pretty quiet for the holiday shopping season. I know this was a bit early in the shopping season, but it was a Saturday evening. The corridor where the casino is is dead, really helping out the place I see. But there is an eyebrow place. That should suffice. That's all you get here. And we stopped in at the little arcade here. At least the lighting in here is arcade-like, even if they don't really have a whole lot of games. And we saw that they have money in these little Chinese takeout boxes that you can win. Maybe the mall should just hang on to that money, I think they need it. And they always seem to play some good music here at least. They're playing Billy Idol. And speaking of Idol, they have American Idol. N not interested. Now we're coming up on the food court, and this is where it gets really sad, because you'll see that there's really almost nothing left to eat. They have Bamboo Express and a pizza place that replaced Sabaro's, and now they have a Puerto Rican place, I think. Even if there's not much here to choose from, which is still better than Colonial Park Mall selection, uh, this is the best looking food court. Annie Ann's is still here, at least. That's what I had when I was here. I love Annie Ann's. It seems like a lot of those have been closing lately. I hope they don't go anywhere. I'll be really upset then.
I have so many good memories of this mall from the 2000s into the 2010s. So I really hope it doesn't close or anything. Hopefully they can save it. Here's their Christmas setup, which actually looks nice, but there was no one really around to enjoy it. Santa wasn't even there. Maybe he got bored and left. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they didn't hire uh, Santa yet. Where you been, Jeffrey? Oh, just out delivering all the hundreds of new big book bonus toys that come inside the weekend paper. Bonus deals. Hmm? New bonus deals come in the weekend paper to add to the big book, not toys. Oh, boy. Look in store or in your paper for amazing deals like Dragon's Dragar Castle, $59.99, Transformers Armada Unicron, $39.99, or a free Jumbo Lion King Simba or Nala Plush with a $100 purchase now at Toys R Us. I just had to include that. I remember those commercials from when I was a kid. And this Claire's really made me laugh because they just had all this merchandise blocking the entrance. I tried to get some footage when I was down there, but my camera was acting up when I first got here. This used to be the mall's fountain. I don't know if I showed that when I was here last. So here we are at Boscov's. I figured it'd be cool to show it in its Christmas form. It's just really visually appealing in here with all the Christmas decorations and all the silver. It was a little action in here, but still much quieter than it probably should be. I love the neon. Boscovs, please never get rid of the neon. And somebody left their cup just right in the middle of the floor. I really feel like I'm in The Sims right now. Now we're heading out of Boss Gobs and wrapping up the episode. As we say goodbye to the statue family and my camera's focus, I wish you all a happy holidays and a happy new year. Thank you for watching.